I'm Jordy Jones, and I'm almost 11. I've wanted a dog ever since I was a little kid. My parents have always said I'm too young for such a big responsibility. One day, I met Flash at a dog show. Flash is a border collie with one blue eye and one brown eye. He's the best dog ever. I asked the owner a lot of questions about Flash. When I got home that night, I asked my parents if I could get a border collie. I thought they would for sure say no. I was so excited when my mom and dad finally said that I could get a border collie if I could prove that I'm responsible enough to take care of it and earn half the money. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew I could. Our neighbor, Mr. Frazier, walks by our house every day with his old dog, Annie. I never paid much attention to Mr. Frazier because he's always grouchy and he frowns at me. One day, Mr. Frazier said he needed someone to do yard work, so I told him I would do it and he hired me. I was so happy because then I could save enough money for my border collie and prove I was responsible at the same time. While I was cutting the lawn, Mr. Fraser fell and broke his leg. I found him behind the rose bushes. It was very scary. Mr. Fraser's face turned white and he was extra grouchy. I had to call 911 and the ambulance came to take Mr. Fraser to the hospital. Mr. Fraser asked me to take care of Annie. I had to walk Annie and take care of him. I didn't mind because it would show my parents how responsible I was. Pretty soon people began to think that Annie was my dog. I still wanted my border collie and didn't want Mr. Fraser's ugly old shelter dog. My friend Jenny thought Annie was adorable. I visited Mr. Fraser in the hospital and he asked me to take care of Annie until he got out. I started to worry that I was going to be stuck with Annie forever. One day when we were walking Annie, a big dog tried to attack Jenny and me. Annie came to our rescue and saved us. It was really scary, but Annie was so brave. I hugged him. That's when I noticed that Annie was hurt. I had to take Annie to the veterinarian, and that's when I discovered that there's something very special about that dog. It was about that time that I really began to like Annie, and soon we were best friends. We cleaned him up, gave him a haircut, we did everything together. That's when Mr. Fraser got out of the hospital and wanted his dog back. Well, you're just going to have to read the book to find out the rest of the story.